Hello everyone. Well, I have a box. I have my scissors. I'm going to do an unboxing for you. What a surprise, what a shocker. Another second hand vacuum cleaner. So, despite the pictures, I'm not really sure what to expect from this. The pictures are fairly good in the eBay listing for this Hoover. Um, so, hopefully, it will be in pretty good condition. It'll probably need a bit of a clean and a polish, but I'm hoping that's all that I need to do. So, it's in the original box, and the seller didn't have to, but this puts, uh, put some bubble wrap around the box, which is good. A bit of extra protection, and I'm hoping internally the seller will have also protected the machine. It doesn't seem to rattle about, so hopefully there'll be additional packaging inside. Whether the original packaging is there, I'm not sure. Now I'm trying to get into this. Ah, oh, well, it's in bubble wrap and shrink wrap. Belt and braces for this model. Now this is a Hoover Power Glide. I did have this one when I had my first collection. This exact model, I don't remember the box being like this. But I had this. This is a second generation Power Glide. The very first one was a red colour, but apart from that, it is the same. The second one Hoover produced was cream with, a, I think, a sort of a burgundy trim. Had I known it had all this on it, I would have undone this first before the bubble wrap. But with any luck, it has survived the trip through the post. Right. That's the first layer over with. Now, the second layer should be a little bit easier once I've cut through some of this brown tape. And I'll be saving this bubble wrap because it'll be useful if I need to send anything off. <gasps> oh, the sellers put brown tape on the box. Why not use white uh, clear tape? That would have been better. But to have a Hoover Power Glide in the box is pretty rare. So here we have it. Now I think there's two things wrong with this that I noticed from the pictures. The first thing that's wrong is it's missing the dusting brush because that wasn't actually illustrated so I'm assuming the dusting brush isn't in here and it is actually illustrated on the box. You can just about see it behind this tape. So that's the first thing that's wrong. The second thing that's wrong is the Hoover roundel on the floor head is missing. So it was just a black, instead of a red and white Hoover logo that you'd normally have, it was black, black and white or black and silver. So it seems to have come off. So, if that's all that's wrong with it, I'll be a happy bunny. Oh, it looks like there is additional packaging inside as well, more bubble wrap. So it's been well packaged. When I first saw this, the first time I ever saw the Hoover Power Glide, the red version, was in the Argos catalogue. And it was mid 80s, it's probably 84, 85, 86-ish, I can't remember exactly when. But when I saw the name Power Glide, I thought, ah, is it a Hoover cylinder that follows you automatically? Does it glide? As in self-propelled Power Glide. That's what I thought initially, and I got all excited. But when I looked at the price point of the machine, I think it was about 50 pounds, 45 to 50 pounds, I thought, mm, I wouldn't have thought it has that feature. But the Power Glide basically, it's, it's very similar to a Freedom, a Hoover Freedom, a bit more compact. Right. A little bit of 
an off cut of foam. Now then, let's have a look. Right, now apart from, apart from it's missing the Hoover logo and it looks like it's also, there would have been a red litter picker stuck on there. Apart from that, it's gonna need a bit of a clean up but it's, that's in pretty good condition, not rusted. This nozzle actually is the nozzle that the Hoover Aquamaster, the first generation of Hoover Aquamasters was supplied with. The second generation came with a different nozzle, a German made nozzle which was better than this. Right, you've got your foot operated pedal to lower the uh, brushes. So it's, it's quite a good nozzle really, but that'll clean up and polish up quite nicely. So that's the first thing. Can't see the dusting brush, but I do actually have a dusting brush that will fit this machine um, from a Hoover Turbo Power Toolkit that I don't require. So it also has one of these toolkits. So they're all brand new and unused. Actually, it also has the all purpose nozzle. But again, a bit of muck inside, but nothing that a soaking in some hot soapy water won't solve. And even after a bit of a polish, I think all these tools are going to come up very well. So that's your crevice tool, all-purpose nozzle. Two extension tubes, being a budget cleaner, they're plastic. But both of the locking rings are intact. Sometimes they could crack. This part especially used to crack, uh, rending, rendering them useless. But they're both fine, so I think it has probably had light use. Here we have the Hoover Flex hose. Again, I'm going to give that a soak in the bath or the sink, but because this hose has got metal inside, it's one of these stretchy Hoover Flex double stretch hoses. I will try not to get any water inside but I can soak it, most of it, in the sink, leaving the two ends out of the water and give that a good clean. So the hose is in reasonable condition. The handle's a bit scratched, that's probably the worst of the damage. You need to see there, a little bit of scratching. Again, once it's cleaned and buffed up and polished up, that won't be so noticeable. You've got your suction control there, look, on the handle. And again, the locking ring, that seems fine. It's all nice and smooth, it's not caked in muck. There is some dirt in it, but it is, it hasn't been used a lot, definitely hasn't. It's probably been packed away for a long time. Here we have the flex, and on quick in inspection, it looks okay. There's a fitted plug on. This one, oh, it's, I thought it was an EverReady plug, and it probably was made by EverReady, but this one, and I'll have to change that. This one's branded Tesco. <clears throat> but the cord grip seems to be fitted properly. On many old, old vacuum cleaners I've bought, second-hand ones years ago, the plugs weren't fitted properly. Often the cord clamp wasn't screwed down right, and often it wasn't clamped down on the outer insulation, it was clamped down on the inner blue and brown wires. Sometimes a yellow wire was there if it was earthed. But it's fitted okay, but I will give that a bit of a check. Made in England though, so possibly I will keep it. I'm not sure if all plugs now are made in England. Could be made in China. When it comes to things like plugs, I think made in England is best. Right, here's the cleaner itself. And I think this would have had more in this would have had more internal packaging if it you know when it was new but the seller's done a very good job it's covered in bubble wrap there's another layer of foam in the bottom of the box so yes obviously it looks worse than the photograph photographs no matter how good they are a lot of things don't tend to show up on them general marks and grubbiness and even on the video probably to you this looks brand spanking new but using my eyes I can see it isn't 
The main thing that I was looking at was the panel here on the picture and that looked very good and this one does, it does look good just needs basically a clean even the Hoover branding here in gold lettering it's hard to tell, can you see it? just about anyway that's all intact not worn off it's not seems, it doesn't seem to want to show, there we are, can you see it now? so it's a very basic cleaner I wouldn't be surprised if it had a Freedom motor in it. This did run alongside the Freedom, the not the Freedom 750, I think that had been discontinued, so possibly replaced the basic Freedom 750, but this did run alongside the three Freedom 1000 electronic. Thought that was a crack, it's a somebody's hair. But anyway, you've got two wheels, but they could they would benefit from a little bit of lubrication I expect it's all going to have a nice clean but this is going to just be a, a general wipe over and a polish I don't think it's going to need stripping down to its bare bones let's have a look at the back and see this is the exhaust vent it's very retro looking isn't it will stand on its end you can use it stood on its end when you're cleaning the stairs and on the back, yes, everything's fine. The caster wheel, it really has had very, very little use. I am pleased with this, very little use. The bottom is the area where you'd expect a lot of scratches if it had been a heavily used vacuum, but nothing, and even this, the small wheel here, it's, it's not done very many miles, there's this vacuum. Here is the rating plate, let's see what it says. Hoover model S4256, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 800 watts. Serial number S4256, 5020943. Trademarks of Hoover PLC, made by Hoover PLC, Great Britain. Can you, can you see it? There we go. So again, date it for me please. I know if someone tells me the formula for dating this, I'd be able to do it myself, wouldn't I? Teach a man for fish and he will eat for life. That's What's that saying? Give, give a man a fish, that's something like, give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish and he'll eat for life. Unless he's a vegetarian like I am, so I will not eat fish or meat. Right. What else have I got to show you? Well, I haven't shown you the front. Despite being a budget cleaner, it has this deluxe feature. This is the bag eject. I've noticed there's no instruction book, but there wasn't any listed, so no spare bags. I think I'll have a packet of bags for this anyway. So to empty the machine, the best thing to do would be to stand it on its end. You press this latch here. Oops, a little bit of dust came out. You remove the bag, and it has a genuine bag in it. And looking at it, I don't think it's had very many bag changes. And it's a non reusable, or is it? Yeah, it is. I thought they might have taped it up. It's a non reusable bag. There's the Freedom 1000 I was talking about, so it uses the same bag as that. And there's a little stick figure. Again, it's a bit dusty, but the little stick figure is there showing, holding this over a bin. So what you do, you press these arrows up with both thumbs, like that. You go like this. Oh, is it going to, it's going to be a bit stiff. Oh no, it did it. Only moved up one side, really. That will benefit. It'll, it'll be a bit smoother once it's all cleaned, but it's not at all bad. Just light dust. You can see it's got a seal all the way around here. To relocate a new bag, you just take the collar, there's two little lips at the bottom, and you push it like that until it clicks, and that's the new bag. Not much of a filter system, it only has, only has by the looks of it, oh, 
that is something that's gonna this is this is often the case oh it's just completely it's two filters well <laughs> one now this did look all right <laughs> before I got it out I'm not too bothered because I can either get the genuine filter or get a copy filter or one to cut to fit this is like a foamy but look what's happened this is very common amongst vacuums that have been stored for long it's just absolutely disintegrating in my hand look at that so that's something to vacuum up but I'm not bothered about that I think I'll probably still be able to buy a genuine one of those but underneath there you can see it's left a bit of a mess underneath there I won't take it out until I vacuum that out but there was another filter so it's like two filters, well three including the bag, so triple filtration, no exhaust filter. So that will just need cleaning up, I'll just need to get two new filters, new packer bags, and that's really all I have to spend on this. Right, I'll just pause the camera for a moment, vac this out, and we'll just switch it on, and then you'll see this again when I've cleaned it up properly. Right, I've cleaned out all that gubbins with another vacuum, put the filter, one of the filters back in, and the dust bag. Fingers crossed that this machine works and it sounds like it should. <laughs> sounds fine to me. Let's pop the hose on. I can line it up, there we are. Lock it in place. Not too bad. Very basic sounding, doesn't sound very smooth, but it doesn't sound like it's going to go kaput. One final shot before I go. I'll use this vacuum to clean up the filter that has absolutely disintegrated to bits so it's a bit like vacuum cannibalism so to finish off the video I'm going to clean up this terribly disintegrated filter and then I'll be off onto the internet and searching a few spares websites I'm pretty sure if I can't get the genuine one I'll get something that I can at least cut to fit right let's see if 800 watts is enough to clean this up I forgot that. <laughs> it's ruined the carpet. Well, it hasn't quite ruined. I've got something up my sleeve that will clean that up. I best go get it now, I suppose. Now, this mark isn't left because the vacuum cleaner is absolutely rubbish. If I was to go over this with any vacuum cleaner now, including an upright with a beta bar, this mark won't come off because it's like a sticky residue. I don't know what it is. I've had a few vintage vacuums and the black exhaust diffusers have perished and I find that bits of them have stuck to the cleaner and they won't come off without using some sort of detergent. And I do remember now if you get them on the carpet they don't come off. So hopefully I'm going to use my little Bissell spot bot and uh, I'm hoping this you can see clearly where it is there. We'll just try, hopefully, clean this up. Right, I'll be demonstrating the spot bot. You're only going to see this part of it. The spot bot is an automated spot cleaner, but I'm going to use the hose. So I have to press the hose button, and hopefully, I'll be able to remove this. <laughs>
few. He breathes a sigh of relief. A spot bot has come to my rescue and picked up that mess. Okay, that's it. So there we have it. Another one for the collection. The Hoover Power Glide Super Suction Cylinder Vacuum Cleaner. Yes, it's very basic. Yes, it's not all that powerful, but more than adequate. But it's a proper Hoover. When Hoover were a decent company, made in the United Kingdom. And at the time, the Queen was still endorsing Hoover. Well, it was by appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Manufacturers of vacuum cleaners and laundry equipment, Hoover PLC, Greenford, Middlesex. So there we go. Pleased to have that. Just needs a little bit of a clean, a bit of a polish, some new filters and a new bag and a replacement dusting brush. And Bob's your uncle. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos, just search my channel. There's an awful lot of different videos about other floor care appliances, vacuum cleaners, carpet washers, vintage TV ads and other vacuum cleaner related content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.